Hey guys, Michael from Concrete Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be covering a shortcut for doing SI unit conversion. So, for example, how to convert centimeters to millimeters, or how to convert cent convert nanometers to centimeters. So essentially, how to do SI unit conversions, but a shortcut for doing that. So, the first thing you have to do is you have to either you are given your your SI prefixes, or you have to memorize it. Now, if you have to memorize it, you can use this mnemonic to help you out. I'm Maybe you've heard of it before. King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. So that's K-H, King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. And those cover a lot of prefixes. So we'll start with K, K is kilo, then H is hecto, deca, base, uh, deci, centimilla. That's King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. The base is when you don't have any prefixes, like if you just have grams or liters, that's what base means. And base is going to be 10 to 0. And then when you move to this side, you just add 1. So deca 10 to 1, hecto 10 to 2, kilo 10 to 3. And then if you move to the other side, it's subtract 1. So deci 10 to negative 1, centi negative 2, milli negative 3. So that's that's what you can remember using King Henry died by drinking chocolate milk. But you're probably going to have to add a little bit more because uh, you might get be tested on these units as well. So after milla, you add this little U that stands for micro, and that's negative 6. So notice it changes by factor 3. And then n nano, uh, negative 9. And then on the other side, Mega, uh, add 3 again, so that's 10 and 8, 6, and Giga is add 3 again, 10 and 9. So that's just a way for you to memorize the SI, uh, pre the prefixes. But if you have all those prefixes memorized, now we can jump, go move into the problems, and I can show you the shortcut. So this first one, we're converting 8.43 centimeters into uh, millimeters. So let's take a look at what centi is and what milli is. So centi you can see right here, centi corresponds to 10 to negative 2, and millis correspond to 10 to negative 3. Then you just take a look at what the absolute difference is between the exponents, so negative 2 and negative 3. The absolute value, the difference between those would just be uh, 10 to the 1. So that is what I'm going to write here. 10 to 1 is the difference between these two. Uh, and then if you're having trouble with that, just take one number, subtract it by another, and take the absolute value. For example, negative 2 minus negative 3, and then take the absolute value of that, and that'll be 1, so that's how you get 10 to the 1. Then, once you have the absolute value, if you're moving to the right-hand side, you're going to multiply, and if you're moving to the left-hand side, you're going to divide. So since we're going from centi to milli, we're going to the right-hand side, we are going to multiply. So all we have to do is just do 8.43 multiplied by 10 to 1, and that'll just be 84.3 millimeters. All right, part B. So for ne this next one, we're converting 2.41 centimeters into meters. So let's take a look at what centi and uh, meters are. So centi is 10 to negative 2, and meters is the base unit. So that will just be 10 to the 0. So the absolute difference between uh, negative 2 and 0 is 10 to the 2. And since we're going from centi to the base, we're going to the left this time, we're going to divide. So then we're going to do 2.41 divided by uh, 10 to the 2. So that's going to be 2.41 divided by 100, and that will give you 0 0.0241 meters. All right, next one, let's take a look at C. So let's get rid of this. And in C, we have 294.5 nanometers, and we're trying to get it to centimeters. Now let's take a look at what? Nano is, nano is 10 to the negative 9, and centi is 10 to the negative 2. So the absolute difference between negative 9 and negative 2 is 10 to the 7. Um, always just take the, the positive value, the absolute difference. Then let's take a look at, are we going to the right or to the left? So we're going from nano to centi. We're going to the left, and if we are going to the left, we're going to divide. So then we just do 294.5 divided by 10 to the 7, to enter down to calculator, 294.5 divided by 10 raised to the 7th power, and that will give you uh, 2.945 times 10 to the negative 1, negative 5 centimeters. D. Uh, in this next one, we're going from 1.445 times 10 to the 4th meters, and we're converting it to kilometers. Well, this is a pretty easy one. If you're going from uh, if you're going from meters to kilometers, just know if 
so we have meters and kilometers. If you're going in this direction, you're going to divide by a thousand. And then if you're going in this direction, you're going to multiply by a thousand. So that corresponds to grams and kilograms as well. So anytime you have a base unit in kilo, going towards the kilo position, you divide by a thousand. And then going back to the base unit, you multiply by a thousand. So for this one, all we have to do is just divide this by a thousand. And that'll give us 1.445 times 10 to the 1 uh, kilometers. Okay, two more, let's take, take a look at E. In E, we have 235.3 meters and we're converting it to millimeters. So let's take, use the shortcut again. Uh, there's, a short, there's a quicker way of doing it, but let's just be consistent and use that, short, that shortcut. So we'll look, take a look at base and the ba base is 10 to the zero. And then millimeters is 10 to the negative three find the absolute difference between 0 and negative 3, and that's 10 to the third. We're going from meters to millimeters, so we're going from the base to here. We're moving in the fourth direction, so that means we're going to multiply. So then this is just going to be 235.3 multiplied by 10 to the third. And then that will just be 235.300 nanometers. And we can convert that to, to scientific equation if we want it. And the last one, 903.3 .3 nanometers and we're go going to micrometers. So nanometers is 10 to the negative 9, micro is 10 to the negative 6. Find the absolute difference there and it's 10 to the third. Um, we're going from nano to micro, we're going to the left and when you go to the left you divide so 903.3 .3 divided by a thousand and that'll be 0 0.9033 micrometer. Okay, and that's the shortcut for SI unit conversion. So first thing, just have have the SI prefixes memorized. Next, find the, the absolute difference between the, the prefixes of both the unit you're starting with and the unit you're going to. And then if you're going to the right, multiply. If you're going to the left, divide. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry. If you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.